Every graphic facilitator needs good tools. Tools for making murals, maps, overviews, securing engagement and ownership. Here is an overview of what we've come to believe are the essentials. All you need is markers. Make sure you have a variety of colours. Tape together a set of dark colours and a set of bright colours. This will allow you to work quickly and flexibly. Use various markers, ultra-thin, thin, thick and mega, and keep a good set of whiteboard markers and chalks. Use mega for your title and to fill out large surfaces, thick markers for frames, big drawings and headers. Ultra-thin or thin for quotes, icon and small drawings, and chalks for background colours and shadows. Markers will get you far, but there's more to add to your toolkit. You want a paper cutter, a pair of scissors, pins and masking tape to stick together and hang stuff all over the place. You want cover-up tape and correction fluid to correct mistakes. Don't be afraid of them. An eraser, a sharpener and a pencil to make quick sketches. Yep, everything is here. You need paper. Plenty of it, in all sizes. Large paper rolls makes it possible to work in panorama. A tube makes it easy to carry big chunks of paper. What else? A3 and A4 for smaller drawings and sketching quick drafts. You also need post-it notes in many sizes, colours and shapes. These are great for gathering input, mapping and clustering ideas. You may also need small stickers, ideal when mapping or voting in teams. Displays. Don't let the location dictate your setup. You need wall space. Lots of it. So you and your team can work panoramically, creating, for example, shared agendas, mind maps and action plans. Use a flip chart to take quick notes and lists of inputs. They're easy to move around. Use large whiteboards when needing to sketch, correct and iterate a drawing according to your process. Design your room exactly as you wish. Create your own visual learning arena. Hardware and software. Drawing real-time on, for example, a tablet PC or iPad makes a powerful impression. Avoiding PowerPoint is refreshing, but screens and projectors can be useful, especially when drawing directly on computer screens. Consider additional software for editing, presenting and sharing. A camera makes you able to quickly capture, document and distribute your visuals. Visual language. Build a library of your own visual language designed specifically for your field or company. This could be a set of icons for standard situations, or it could be pre-made templates and metaphors or pictures designed for certain dialogues. With all tools in place, you're good to go. They will help you make the process and content of your meetings visible. People love to work this way. You might want to experiment using them in both design, facilitation and follow-up of meetings, workshops and projects. What tools can you imagine also to be helpful? This was brought to you by Bigger Picture.